Welcome back to our basketball section and joining me today is the assistant coach of the Southland under 20, under 21 team, Fraser Hinger. Welcome along to Monday Night Sport. Hello. Now, that Friday week ago, uh, Southland under 21 team took on Utah, put up a very good performance. How did that game come about? Uh, well, that actually came about from the coach from Utah, uh, Coach Stokel, who actually has been out here about four weeks, four, four, no, twice already, this mm. is his third trip. Um, he came out four years ago, brought out one team of under 16s, mm -hmm. and then the following two years he brought out two teams, under 18 and an under 16. Mm. Um, Southland competed well in those two games, but the Utah team was just too good. Mm. Mm. Um, they're a very strong team. Right, we've got some action from the Surrey Park of that match. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can tell us about some of the uh, Southland players involved. Okay. Well, the players that we have got had involved with that team is um, point guard Jeremy Hamilton, who's actually got the ball now. Uh, then you've also got the likes of Juani, who is actually a forward. And Carlos Henry, Marcus Tuwairu, uh, Jamie Peterson. Most of these guys, with the exception that are on the court at the moment, with the exception of Marcus Tuwairu, are actually junior Sharks. They're actually playing for the Sharks team. Um, Jeremy Hamilton there is becoming quite a phenomenal player in his own right. Um, Who's the captain of the team? Jeremy Hamilton here at the moment. Um, we've, we've often remarked about the, the sporting talent of Hawani McDonald. He's been on the show uh, half a dozen times. No, he's oh, in the right. studio, but if he's not playing basketball, he's playing rugby. Yeah. Um, he's actually a versatile sports person. I mean, he's just amazing in the game of basketball. Mm. Uh, he's just one of these kids that have got natural ability. The majority of all these guys I've actually seen come through right from their junior days of playing mini ball and, mm -hmm. and that. And of course they've all come to the stage now where they're actually ready to actually let loose. Mm. Um, it's just a pity that in, in some of these cases that a lot of these guys don't get a fair amount of the recognition that they do deserve um, playing in the game of basketball. Um, they all get court time as such, but there's, there's a lot of, um, I wouldn't say politics, but certainly a lot of that plays in the game. Mm -hmm. um, but you actually have to be really talented to actually be able to sort of play the game as, at, a, at a frenetic pace as what these guys do. Um, if you sort of notice in, in Hawani's game, he actually plays at top speed all the time. And of course, he's always got about three players who follow him all the time. Um, because of the superb know. fitness level. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he's, <laughs> he's what we call a freak of in this game because he's such a natural player. Uh, it's just natural ability. And of course, fast running game is his sort type of game. Um, even Andy Bennett would let you tell you that in the Sharks game, he's just. Run, run, run. Mm. Yeah. It's got a lot of time, time for Hawani. Oh, yes. The under 21 team, how many opportunities do they get to play as, as a squad? Uh, there's actually, up until this year, they've actually only had one bite as, at the cherry as such. This year, from this year onwards, they've actually got two chances of making it into, say, national development squads. Mm. Um, you have what they call regional zone finals, well, zones. Um, such as Southland, Otago, North Otago, South Otago, Central Otago, um, at tournaments. Um, and of course what happens is players who get picked for tournament teams out of those zones get to go and play in a national tournament. Mm -hmm. um, and of course to be seen, you've got to be seen at a national. Mm -hmm. um, they're actually seen at these regional finals or regional games. Um, once by selectors, and then of course after that they're seen by the National Development Squad selectors. Um, because let's face it, this is where a lot of our younger players are actually going to come from for you know, future tall blacks. What's the uh, depth like uh, at age group level for basketball in Southland? Have you got plenty of people vying for this team, vying for the youth of the Sharks? Uh, yeah, we have and we haven't. I mean, over the last couple of years, we've actually worked on a campaign of actually having uh, under 16s, under 18s continuously going all the time. Um, the thing being is, if we didn't have those, 
what really would hurt us is that we lose those players. Mm. Um, strong players like Hawani, for instance, if we were to lose them to, say, Otago or even Canterbury, um, it would be a sad loss mm. because we'd actually have to start from scratch again. Right. And players like that don't come along every, day, every five minutes, do they? No, <laughs> they don't. I mean, they're once in a blue moon. Um, you know, I mean, let's put it, face it this way, um, Jeff Wilson mm. was also a frenetic basketballer. Mm. Um, he could shoot, he could run, he could uh, jump, mm. right? And that's basically all you need in basketball. Um, but, I mean, his prowess has been to an all black. Mm. Mm. Um, Worked out rather well for him. Well, it did. Yeah, and, and there you go, there's another one. And the same could be said of old of um, Steve Pekiri, mm. who was a basketballer. Right. Um, you've got the talent, you've got the talent, haven't you? Exactly. Yeah, so. I mean, these guys, they actually started off school and they saw their, their cues, so to speak. Mm -hmm. you know, um, it, same could go for the same of Hawani or mm -hmm. even Malcolm Clark, for that matter. Okay. All right, we've got to wrap it up there, but by all means, let us know next time the under 21s are, are playing and we'll be able to, because basketball is very, very popular on the show. People Certainly. like to watch it and it's easier to cover yeah. in terms of camera work, so 